Hello everyone, this is a teaser server video for this coming Sunday, October 8th, and <clears throat> as those of you who were here the first, you got to see the uh, first promotional video for uh, Fall Family Weekend, just to let you know we do have a couple more of those to come <clears throat> each of the next couple Sundays to uh, promote Fall Family Weekend, which is the first weekend in November, but today I just want to ask you, um, where does your strength come from? Now, depending on what you consider strength, some people may think it's physical strength. Some people may think it's something that's, you know, cool under pressure. Some might think strength is uh, something that a leader has and that people are, um, are drawn to follow. They might see that as a type of strength. Um, so when you look at the, the passage, you're going to see it talks about strength. And we're looking at Habakkuk chapter 3, verses 17 to 19. Habakkuk chapter 3, verses 17 through 19. Now, Habakkuk is a minor prophet, and he's, uh, as with all the prophets, they are usually giving a prediction, a warning of something that's going to happen. And you see Habakkuk giving a warning here in these verses about something going to happen. Then he's also talking about strength. And then I want you to try to get a whole feel of what these verses are talking about. Um, obviously, it's a warning about a pending um, doom because that's what prophets do um, but I want you to think about as Habakkuk is giving the warning to first tell me who he's giving the warning to um, so you'll look that up figure out who he's giving the warning to also see if you can find out how Habakkuk feels about this about the warning he's giving that could be a second thing to look up how does Habakkuk actually feel about the warning that he's giving and does he do anything about that feeling I, I know it's, it's kind of vague but Habakkuk does something that I really appreciate um, in his book and I think it's something that we need to understand and be comfortable with doing and um, it's something I think what he did I think is something that you find Christians and people saying all the time um, so those are the three things I want you to uh, determine is who's Habakkuk um, giving his warning to, um, how does Habakkuk feel about the warning that he's giving, and did he do anything um, about, did he do anything or did he react a certain way about what's going on in, in his talk with the Lord? Um, I will cover all those in during my message, so if you are following along, I think some of these, I think a couple of them are... Um, uh, are easy to answer, but I think some of them also take some insight and some background reading and, and get a little understanding. And that's what these teasers are for, to, to get you to dig a little deeper, understand the importance of a, the background and the culture, the context of what's being said. And sometimes what's being said affects the prophets as much as it affects the people he's giving the warning to. So that's the teaser for um, this coming Sunday, Habakkuk chapter 3, verses 17 to 19. I hope to see everyone there, and you'll get to see the next video of the for the Fall Family Weekend. Until then, take care, be safe, enjoy this week of uh, Indian summer. Bye.